why you stick to it because it's very challenging. I'm very serious about this profession. I think journalism is the best profession. I feel responsible to tell the story, to um, give people a chance to be heard. For the last two years, actually, I've been covering the war in Ukraine. And last summer, I was in eastern Ukraine when the Boeing, full of passengers, fell on Tares and the region. We had seen bombs falling on, on cities. We had seen uh, many wounded and dead. But when the Boeing collapsed, that was the day when, um, you know, burned children were on that field. But this kind of stories we had to tell and nonstop every day. You report during the day, you file in the evening. You report during the day, you file in the evening. And then they arrest you on some checkpoint. And they wear masks, they are armed, they take you in some unknown direction. I had been covering abductions for many years. But when it's happening to you, you think this is, this is it, this is happening now. And you think about your mother, you think about your, your, your child, and you think, why, why am I here? Uh, tried to use different uh, uh, people to try and talk to me to stop reporting on the story. And I said, I don't owe the responsibility to the minister, I owe it to the people. And so these ministers, because they realized they couldn't convince me, they went to my editor, trying to, you know, influence the editor, offering bribes to the editor and all that. I had it very difficult because at one point my editors were now saying, let's hold on to this story and let's just remain silent about this story and see how the, those in authority will deal with it. But I said, we have already broken this story and people want answers. And so we cannot just stop talking about this without providing the answers to the people because they need to know, they deserve to know and we owe it to them. We have to tell, him, to tell them. And so um, it reached a point where I had to go to a managing director to say there is this story and we need these people to account for that because apparently my editors were getting compromised and all that. So I'm, I went an extra mile and went to the managing director at the other office and luckily he was supportive. Where does that motivation or strength come from? I do not feel very intimidated. I do not feel very scared about doing my work because I know I'm doing it for the public good. And the Bible says, you shall be saved by the truth. And that I believe.